welcome to another tutorial today we'll be looking at uh, booleans in maya 2023 the boolean uh, tools has been improved very significantly and they have made it uh, uh, interactive so let's let me show you some examples of what we're trying to do here for example let's have this box and i need to tell you before we uh, continue here that if you want to really enjoy uh, using booleans you need to decide your workflow earlier on and make sure that you don't intend to smooth that uh, that uh, the object you have been working on okay so to avoid that i suggest that you smooth your object before you start applying booleans even though you can still smooth it, but you need to do a walk around, cleaning up, and you know, you don't want to do all that. So one thing you need to do is you can, first of all, um, smooth your object. For example, this edges here, I want to add some bevel. So I have to do this before um, I start using these booleans, okay? So what we can do here, let's change this one to like 0.3 and uh, maybe 0.1, actually, and increase the segments. To like so so now we can start using booleans to cut out okay so what we can do right now is let me call this one my box okay box one and then this one that i'm gonna be using to cut let's name this one something like uh, the cutter maybe like a scissor that you're gonna be used to cut things means this is gonna be our scissors this is gonna be uh, or this is gonna be our knife and this is gonna be the bread to cut all right so let's just name it uh cutter or something like that okay so now the reason i named this thing here is because i want you to see what's gonna happen here for example right now let me select this this one and that one right there so let's do something like uh maybe difference okay you can see what happened is that this is our box this is our cutter maya has created another object here so i can select that object and just move it here you see you see what happened there is this one has been able to cut cut out like you see it's very it just cut cut it out very neatly right there so now let's see if we want to reverse it okay so what we can do is when you select it you can see what happened here is that here Maya created this text here for example we can change it from from a from a to b to to b to a you can see what happened the box has disappeared the box now has become the the cutter okay so this is this is one of the amazing things let's bring it back okay that is which is difference a and b a to b and b to a now let's try something like a union and i forgot to tell you like if we try to uh, move this this uh, sphere is gonna be updating here for example we can just put it here and move it here you can see it is is very interactive this is the one of the coolest features that i liked about this boolean okay so now let's say we want to do something like a union okay so let's bring something like this and put it here let's increase it and and make it just make it like that so now you see what will happen i don't have to put this right here i can just select this one and select that one and then when i let's say union and you can see it has updated right here so i can also drag this one and it will be interactive fully interactive you can see that and then i can change it from this one to like let's say uh let me use punch hole and now we can also reverse that operation you can see it has cut it right there or we can bring it here or sorry change it to this one and then our box is back there okay 
So another thing we can do here is it doesn't matter when you did it. I can still grab this one and move it here and just move it right there. And it, everything is still, is still, the history is still on. If you want to end it, then you can just take this one and then you delete history and you can get the, you can get your object um, like so. So let's say we want to cut a hole right through this, uh, this, this, this box right here. So what we can do, just grab this one. Let's bring it out, increase it and make it thinner. And then you can rotate it like so. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, where is it? Is this one here, 90 degrees. So I'm gonna show you something, the difference between this slice and this slice edge right here. So what happened is, for example, we have this one right here. I want to let, let it cut across like so. And we will duplicate this box. Okay, this, this pipe here. So let's try this one first. So we'll grab this one and we'll grab this one and we can slice it. When you slice it, you can see that this one right here is uh, another object on its own you can we can just for example i can try to reduce it you can see it is different from this one you can see we still have it's a different geometry right there however if we do this one let's say this one select this one and select that one and then we do slice edge you can see now let me show you the difference right here is that this one if I select this one right here, you see it doesn't, it's still connected with this one. So if you want to make it, uh, if you want to make it different here, you have to select it and delete it. And another thing we can do is let's duplicate this one and put it maybe right here. Now we can use this this hole punch hole punch here you so you select this one and select this one we can punch a hole now we have punched a hole right through this this you can see everything is just so amazing okay and let's say let's do one more uh, demonstrate this one cut out uh, let's use something like a box and just put it right here make it big and bring it here like so something like this all right maybe like that so you can select this one and select this one and we can just do a cut out you see what a cut out does is it just cuts out the the part that intersect with each other so but again we can change the operation we can change it to like like so and then it will create something like this okay see that is just or oh, maybe we can do it the other way see it just create that one right there so this is what we want so you can see we can everything you do here it will be updated right there this is this is so cool i don't know i don't know why they haven't done this for a very long time you see so this is if we want to end the whole thing right here right now because the history is on because if you if you move anyone around is going to definitely uh, be updating here maybe that's not what you want so at the end of it if you think everything is fine you have achieved all you want so what you can do is you can just delete select select your final objects which is this one right here and you go to um, edit and delete all by type history and you can see all those things has disappeared and now we have this one and again for this one right here i want to show you something if you want to get this one out here you can also you can separate just go to um, uh, mesh and you click separate and what we happen is like uh, we lost our shader, which is fine. You can just select it and you go to Maya and you just assign the Lambert to it. It will come back. 
so what happened is that it was this one object has been separated from this one you can see the hole is now you can see the hole was there see the difference between punch hole and slice slice just slides it out and it's a field object but this one is not so you can see that slice and punch hole and this one is almost similar for example if i take this one right here now and just delete it and then i can take this back here and maybe extrude it and then i can just extend it you can see this is you can do amazing things with uh, with the boolean tools so this is how you can use it you can play around with it it's so much fun i like it personally i don't use it often before um, but right now most of my modeling i use booleans a lot right now and it's so convenient and very powerful so uh, i must say thank you to maya for doing this and thank you too for watching this video please if you have not subscribed please uh, support the channel by subscribing so that we can be releasing more useful video for you guys all the time thank you and uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial bye bye